Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is JT from Above and Below the Belt. I want to talk about what Spence said. He says, Spence says, it makes sense for many Packers to fight me at ATN, the ATNT Stadium. You know, one thing is, um, I don't think, it, 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 it seems like in that, what he just said, seemed like he overlooking uh, Mikey Garcia, and I don't think he should do that. But I don't think he's doing that. He's he's too, um, a too, you know, one thing he's he's too professional th to think like that. He's he's 28 years old. He's not that young because I can I can see if he was 23 years old, 22 or whatever, you know what I'm saying. But he's 28 years old. He about to be 29 this year, so he's not. I don't think he's overlooking Manny Pacquiao because one thing one thing about um, one thing about experience you haven't been seeing anything on Instagram or or anything about YouTube. I mean, when the reporters when he's doing press conference for his fight, of course, but. Anything else like on Instagram or, or Twitter, anything like that. He, he ain't been on there like that. He's been in the gym. You know, he know Mikey Garcia uh, pick, is not picking him for no reason. He, Mikey Garcia is picking him because he sees something. And I believe that too at the same time. He see he see that he could probably beat Earl Spence Jr. That's probably what he sees. I mean, of course he sees some flaws. But, you know, and Earl Spence, I think he sees the flaws in um, uh, Mikey Garcia. I ain't no, no, I he know he see. I ain't no think he he think he sees a uh, a flaw in Mikey Garcia. He knows he he knows it's a flaw in Mikey Garcia. He sees too at the same time. It's by it's vice versa. You know what I'm saying? This is this an interesting it's an interesting fight because of how people hyping it up and of course the fight has been un, uh, are, these two are, are 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 undefeated fighters on top of that with no losses. So that that's what makes it very interesting too at the same time. And then Mikey Garcia fought at 140, I think one or two times, and he did really well. So. For him, him stepping up another seven more pounds, whatever. I don't, you know, um, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna be that hard, but it depends. It's, it, it's, it, it depends on who he's fighting. He should have stepped up. Like I say, I, I'm gonna keep on saying it. He should have stepped up and easy way up in there. Now, but them to jump and try to fight the the first or the second best uh, Walter uh, uh, boxer in in, in 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 professional boxing. Uh, I don't know, but that's that's what makes it interesting too. So, but getting back to what Spence said about man, this fight should be made with him. That that's what that's what's going. I think that's what's going to happen. He's going to fight Manny Pacquiao if he beat Mikey Garcia, and then I think vice versa. If Mikey Garcia beat Errol Spence Jr., I think the next fight will be Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao, you know, right now he's gonna he this he, he's money Pacquiao right now. You know what I'm saying? He's he's fighting for he, he's fighting for money. He's fighting for the biggest fight to get money at, at the same time. He's got a promotional company. You know what I'm saying? He's 40 years old. What, 41, 42? You know what I'm saying? So I ain't mad at these people trying to cash out now, man, or whatever. Or even try to cash out like in when they like 30. You know what I'm saying? But it's it, but you gotta fight the, 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 the fighters that people want you to fight or wanna see, I say. You know what I'm saying? So um but this fight right here, if Errol Spence fight Manny Pacquiao, you know, I mean, this ain't no prediction video, but, I mean, do I want to see that fight? Uh, you know, I don't, you know, because Spence is 28, Manny Pacquiao is 40 years old. I I expect to see, I expect, this fight is not going to distance. I guarantee it's not going to go to distance. And the person's going to be standing up with his hand raised, whatever, and all that. It's going to be Errol Spence Jr. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao, he's two, he's 40 years old. He, he's, he, I, I guarantee you he lost his step. And he didn't look that really good in uh um he didn't look he didn't look this he didn't look like the same Manny Pacquiao in the uh, Adrian Broner fight because because of his age. You know what I'm saying? He's fighting a twenty eight year old twenty about to be twenty nine year old uh, uh um strong um uh, tall and uh got a long uh reach advantage over uh, Manny Pacquiao. Come on now man. So but the thing about it is People going people still gonna like to see it because that that Manny Pacquiao fight. I think with Adrian Broner did what? I think, I think four hundred thousand. I think four or five hundred. It did around there. So if you if you put Earl Spence in there with Manny Pacquiao, or even Mikey Garcia, even Mikey Garcia, you know what I'm saying? If you put them two in there with Manny Pacquiao, and of course they fighting up their first pay per view fight, you know what I'm saying? That they might be the six, might be seven hundred thousand, maybe eight hundred thousand between them two with Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? So, because I believe that 400, 500,000 pay per view uh, buys with the uh, Manny Pacquiao and Adrian Broner, that was mostly uh, Manny Pacquiao. Uh, 
of people looking look, looking at him. Because if Adrian Broner had somebody else, you know what I'm saying, I don't think he would have been. Even vice versa for many Pacquiao, he probably would have been, he probably, he probably did 300,000. Adrian Broner probably did less than that. You know what I'm saying? Because it's got to be, it's got to be well-known names. You know what I'm saying? Stars, whatever, and all that too at the same time. So, but, but Spence, talking about, it, it makes sense to, for many, uh, for Pacquiao to fight me at ATN Stadium. Many Pacquiao is going to take that. Shh, he's going to take that deal. You know, so you know why? Because, of course, he can, he can cash out, but uh, it's a football stadium. It holds, what, 60, 70,000 fans? Then you on Fox. Then on top of that, you get the um, you know, uh, they pay you money too at the same time. You know, I mean, I think I expect this fight with Earl Spence and Mike Garcia do well. This might do well in Manny Pacquiao and Adrian Broner fight. That's what it like to me. Watch, I it might I could be wrong, but it might do the fact it might it, I say I say this it might do the same amount as um. Uh, or close to many pack of Asian Brunner, or, or 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 it's gonna um, surpass it, you know what I'm saying? So that's gonna look really impressive for Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia to get them pay per view buys like that, you know what I'm saying? So they will be, you no, know, they be on their way to be the cash cow pretty soon. But the person who has that right now is uh, Canelo Alvarez, and I forgot many Packers still still here too at the same time. But he's not, he's not, you know. He's been beat. I mean, of course, Canelo Alvarez been beat too, but they all fought. They both is a cash cow to a certain degree because they fought uh, Floyd Mayweather and lost against Floyd Mayweather. So, but at the same time, man, hey, I'm I'm, I'm not mad at Errol Spence. If he, I mean, definitely he'll take the fight, and Manny Pacquiao's definitely gonna take that fight. But don't forget, Mikey Garcia gonna definitely take that fight with Manny Pacquiao. And Manny Pacquiao gonna take the fight with um, Mikey Garcia. So uh, we'll see. Definitely. What do y'all guys think about? Um, Earl Spence, what he said, you know what I'm saying? Do you think he's overlooking him the way he said it, whatever? Or he just saying that, you know, when I, you know, uh, well, he's a, you know, one thing is he, he's true of himself. He's, he's, um, you know, he's not, he's not scared or nothing like that. He's, he's a very confident fighter. I, I definitely would say that, Earl Spence Jr. And that's one, that's one thing you have to have, man, that confident, that, that that psychological edge and stuff like that, man. When you come in the ring with a with a person too, but don't be over uh don't be overconfident too, because that could back that could backfire. But at the same time, what y'all think about Errol Spence? What he said uh, 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 about Manny Packer? That fight should be uh, it makes sense to make that fight with Manny Packer in the AT and T Stadium with him. So um, if you have any questions or whatever, leave a question at the bottom of my page. Subscribe to my page. Like my page. Leave a uh, uh, I mean, uh, hit the uh, notification for new videos from me. This is JT from Bubble Blow the Belt. All right, bye.